Good day, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to stay on uh, SIM and get educated before you start using a real money. We are going to start with the precision auto trade, and there is still some trades open. And uh, we will uh, look at the smaller time frame. They are amazing. Uh, the precision auto trade can take a trade with a trend and can take a trade with a reversal. It is very aggressive. It does not require any filter. For a guy to get trained on this one here, probably will take him a couple of three days to learn how to optimize it if he wants to. And uh, it depends what kind of money you have in the market and uh, what kind of risk you want to take. So from one trader to another is a different, but uh, we will teach you, we'll bring you to the webinar and uh, we'll teach you how to set it up and get it to work with the condition you like, depends on the money you are investing and the risk you want to take. We will start with the ES E-mini on the 32nd. This is, uh, uh, this is a message to our members. This is the same setting we covered on the last Monday in the webinar. And it is just optimized between 10 and, and 60 seconds. And we shared the setting on the last Monday webinar. And here it is. It is a very success uh, template. Uh, we will take uh, the three minutes, the medium size, three minutes and normal minutes. And as you see here at the auto trade, uh, you can set uh, whatever type of trailing stop you want to do. You can be, uh, you can leave a big gap between you and the market. So that will bring swing trading or if you wanted to scalp the market you can scalp the market so this is a the es e mini three uh, on the three minutes time frame and it is a perfect entry and it is a climbing and we already secure profit around 1000 and this is a really uh, a brilliant one uh, on the nasdaq three minutes here it is uh, took the first trade and now we still have one more trade uh, to take you see uh, three different cell stop loss, but it is only one. The reason we do this, we have each one of them is independent for, for the trader. If you want to interfere with the auto trade, if he doesn't want to interfere with the auto trade, it's fine. But uh, if you wanted to secure some of the profit or you wanted to take a uh, break even, or if you want to uh, take it a little bit farther up, uh, you can do that to break even so you can override the auto trade if you wanted to or if you are about to go somewhere and you want to secure more of your profit you can do that or vice versa if the market is not working in your direction you can also uh, move your stop loss so you will not have uh, damage to your account uh, this is the es2 minute as you see here is uh, it's been a chop market on the two minutes and it's been taking a few trades here and there. But finally, this market start taking one direction. And when the market start taking one direction, there we go. Here we are. We are done with this one here. Uh, this is uh, the ES three minutes and you can see is almost uh, the same. Uh, it is the same auto trade. But it's a different template and a different uh, time frame. It does not mean if the three minutes uh, today uh, made a couple thousand dollars on that trade, that means it's better than the, the ES two minutes. Uh, and then we jump from two minutes to three minutes tomorrow. No, it's, uh, it's not this way. The market condition and uh, the way it's uh, been working uh, today, the two minute took uh, a little more trades. Uh, the three minutes, there were a little bit uh, iron some of the noises in the market but uh, it could be the two minute tomorrow will make more money so it is for this trader to to understand it's not the auto trade itself and it's not uh, the time frame itself is sometimes the con condition market movement has an impact on what kind of time frame you are using and uh, what kind of th um, um, setting you have on the auto trade. 
Uh, this is the Nasdaq in three minutes. It's 1050. And uh, then we have the ES Hakanachi is uh, on the last trade and uh, is already broke even. This is very good. Uh, there is around 1500 into the to that trade. Uh, this is amazing the five range if you notice how we uh, we took that trade from uh, on the five range and how it is closed right on the top and nailed 1100 the es 10 second is an amazing uh it took a trade short and long and it was done all of them they are on 1000 lately the cl has been doing extremely good and uh, we took one trade today 2000 and then you have the Russell. I'm not a Russell trader, but also if we notice on the 19 second on the Russell, we had a few trades today, but finally made it. NASDAQ 590 ticks. I always highlight the 10 second or the 20 second ES, and I always highlight uh, the 590 on every single video. So the same time frame we are using every single day. We're not using Renko bar one day, a tick chart another day, or, you know, line break one day. What we are doing, we are showing the range, the minutes, and uh, we have only one chart and ticks. It's the 590. On, I highlight this, the only chart we have in ticks, and I highlight this one every single day. It's been very consistent. And as we see here, it took the first trade at around 10.10. And then uh, we were done around 11 o'clock on that trade, and it was 1400. However, this is uh, between the three minutes. Uh, it is a swing trading, and it is this one here, a scalping. And this is the difference between uh, the scalping and uh, the difference between uh, the, 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 the three minutes. Uh, so you can scalp the market or you can swing trade the market is whatever you want. On the ES3 range, also I have highlighted the three range. It was a perfect entry. We had a one losing trade and then one entry and one uh, exit. And look at how the auto trade took that reversal. It's, it is an amazing how this auto trade took that reversal, took it all the way down from very very much to the top uh all the way to the uh down we were testing the smaller time frame and uh, uh on the smaller time frame uh like uh, the second or the three range uh uh you know, this is funny. We have one client uh, today. We were talking to her. I was talking to him, and uh, very soon we're gonna have the the, the Thanksgiving day. It's, it's around the corner, and after Thanksgiving day, there is not much going on in the market. So, uh, when you are on um, uh, when uh, the closer we are going to the Christmas, which we are. I mean, time is flying. Uh, uh, the the uh, the better off to start using a smaller time frame, you know, because um, there is a lot of, for the last 27 years, this is the same story. Once you eat your Thanksgiving, once you eat your turkey at night, uh, you kiss this market uh, goodbye till next year. It is perfect timing, perfect timing. For a guy is struggling and wanted to be trained, it is uh, the last the last six weeks of this year that will be perfect to learn uh, when the market is not performing and learn how to optimize, learn how to deal with a smaller time frame, and it is perfect timing for training this next couple months. And then uh, get uh, ready for uh, to get himself proper gear and uh, get ready to start trading uh, the beginning of next year in January. So uh, we have seen it a lot uh, that uh, 
uh, people come in in this time here and uh, to get educated, to learn how to control that auto trade. They know there is no performance on the last six weeks of this year. And uh, so it is to learn how to optimize and get everything ready. So when uh, then after New Year Eve, he's ready to go. And uh, that it is really a uh, perfect time and for a guy struggling with the market to get to proper training, not to just optimizing. Anyone can optimize. Proper training to read the market. We don't want to teach price action. We don't charge for training. We don't charge for education. But, but to learn before he start the auto trade, to learn there is a few things he can go around, kick the tires, see if it's drivable to go across the states or something when you go in with your car. And the same thing with an auto trade. Before you start turning your auto trade on, you need to look at this chart to see if this market trended or not. So this is uh, the Precision Auto Trade. We're gonna go to something else uh, called uh, the TI-7. On the TI-7, uh, there is uh, 10 different uh, uh, entries and filter one of the things also about the TI-7, if you don't want to deal with the trailing stop and stop loss, what you can do, uh, you uh, you can put the trailing stop and, uh, and uh, the stop loss on zero, and then uh, uh, the auto trade will take those trades and exit automatic once the trend is finished, which this is a really on a very high swing trading. Today we are testing without any daily target and trying to see how it is to run it for eight hours. And uh, this is the last trade for today. And uh, one of the things also, this is the last trade. It was from two o'clock and now it's around 3.30 and it's been on the same trade. And you can see because there is a big gap between the trading stop and the market price. So this is where uh, on this one here also there is uh, like uh, the, the precision auto trade if you like any numbers or if you the market now is about to close you can close position like what I have done it takes you one second and it is 1737 you can close it if you want to so this is the CL 540 takes 1,000 right on the spot. The CL9 range, 2,000. The CL13 range, 2,000. For some reason, the CL is back on the trading. And uh, as I said yesterday, the CL was uh, the crude oil. Uh, a few years ago, we were trading heavily on the crude oil. Everyone is trading crude oil. Somehow, it stopped working, the crude oil. When everybody starts jumping on that instrument, for some reason, uh, the, the, the crude oil uh, ends up in disaster with a lot of volatility. A lot of people shine away from the uh, crude oil back then. I don't know, maybe 10 years ago, seven years ago. Uh, uh, and um, I don't remember, I mean, you know. But uh, I can see right now the crude oil is back on. And that is a very good news because I like a crude oil. Of course, there is a, the crude oil also, there is a certain time you can uh, catch a good trains on the crude oil, but we're not gonna cover that today. We, we don't wanna make a very long uh, video. And NASDAQ 12 uh, range, if you wanna do this uh, on, on a swing trading. ES. 1700 we just closed it uh, as I said yesterday we have a guy uh, this is the only one on uh, nine minutes it's been consistent and he doesn't want to deal with the uh, daily volatility so he asked me to try that one and it's been very consistent he doesn't want to deal with an ES he just put it on nine minutes and auto trading you know that's that's okay that's fine you know because when you are using this high time frame, you're not dealing with the volatility in the market and all the noises in the market. 
and he's happy with it. So when he gave it to me, he told me to test it. So this is the only one we have for nine minutes because one of our client, he just uh, got keyed on on um, uh, on uh, uh, on uh, the YM nine minutes. That's fine as long as he's happy. We're happy. Um, he has three minutes. Uh, it's still in the trade, and there is seven hundred, and uh, there is uh, uh, here also. Uh, the ES on the five minutes is still in a trade. And then uh, we have uh, on the last one, as you see, when the market is start trending, this one here, the 595 take on the YM. So when the market is trending, there is no problem. The problem is when the market is, um, you know, sideways and it's not moving. This is where things can go wrong if you don't spot it. Um, And uh, this is also on this uh, signal. Uh, we have um, uh, we have uh, five different automated to trade on the signal. Uh, you can use uh, the 15 second. You can use the one minute. You can use two minutes if you want to on the signal. And uh, then uh, there is a five or four different automated to trade on this one here. All of them taking the signal, and some of them they take the pullback re-entry based on the support fib line, and that it is it is very good. Um, I don't know if we still have any trade on it. Very friendly use. Uh, you don't need to optimize. You cannot optimize it actually, and uh, actually we don't have any trades right now. And um, if you are using the 15 second, which you will be using it for the next two months, when we are, the closer we are getting to the, uh, around the Christmas, uh, the more you're gonna be using a smaller time frame, 15 second, 20 second automated trading. And here's the story, when you are using an auto trade is a base on ATR or some stupid moving average, you're not gonna make it on a smaller time frame. This is the advantage when you have and accuracy like what we showed you on the ES3 range. Uh, you know how uh, accurate it is when you are using the seconds. Uh, so, so guys, that's all what we have for you tonight. And uh, uh, we wish you uh, pleasant evening and uh, we will see you tomorrow there we go if you notice here now this uh, auto trade taking a trade and this one here is based on the signal and a fib line and then and what it does we have uh, four or five auto trade and then when it sink into the support area you can auto trade based on a support area and some of the traders, they use the target for reversal, and it is really something else. So, folks, that's all what we have for you today. And uh, today we had uh, some technical problem on the other channel. Right at the beginning of the webinar, we lost the internet, and it was a nightmare. So tomorrow, I think we are more ready, and uh, we will be seeing you on the other channel uh, at 10 o'clock Eastern Time. I want to say thank you very much. God bless you all and uh, see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.